Hey, homestead peeps. So today we did a little planning. We um, have a little update on an expansion that we've got planned. And um, just end of the day, cooling off. So I hope you enjoy the video. <music> Homestead is planting his jalapeno, jalapeno? habanero habanero peppers that he has I like it spicy <laughs> that he started from seed from a seed so we um was that where the peas were planted before Yes. Yeah, we took those up. They didn't do too well. A lot of ants on there. So we. Somebody's ants. So we're replacing that with the habanero peppers. We're using. Say it right, habaneros. Oh, so excuse me. <laughs> we're using um, the paper seedling pots that we did a YouTube. We did a tutorial on a few weeks ago, and one good thing about that is that you can just put the paper pot and everything in the soil. You don't have to like disrupt the roots to um, because the the paper will just break down, and the roots will just grow right through the paper. I believe we're gonna have we had actually had six but yeah there's the paper pots and they're we keep them pretty moist um, and we had some good rain last night and today so the soil is nice and moist too I actually woke up to rain yeah Um, but we had he had six, but two of them were so close together when that we decided not to try to separate the the two, and so we're planting them together. We used these old um, pots that we had from other things. I don't know what was what we bought in them, but. Um, they had holes in the bottom of them. They were plumbagos. Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah, we bought a bunch of plumbagos for the front, around the oak tree in the front yard. But um, these pots had holes in them, so I took some of some plastic bags that I had in the kitchen and just put in the bottom so they would hold water. So when we watered them, it would continue to wick up the paper. The water would wick up. So, so there we go. We'll be doing, um, probably in this same video, we will be doing uh, some pickling of these banana peppers that have just produced like crazy. So we've got a big batch of banana peppers right now that I'll be, Ernie. I'll be um, pickling. So over in the other bed, we have two bell pepper plants. And one of them never really took off but this one um, we've got one bell pepper from it and it's got I don't know if you can see there's one um, two two bell peppers growing now and quite a few blooms on it and then this is the one habanero so um, I've learned recently that peppers grow well in hot weather and so we seem to be having a pretty good uh, go around with these 
peppers. So we'll keep you updated on what we get from them and how much we get and how they taste. We came out here to check on the girls and they had already eaten all their food today so we had to give them a little more. I think they're, it's because they're getting so big, their appetites are increasing. Get them. Get them. Hey! <laughs> they love pecking my rings. They're all. They all come after the rings. Oh. They're growing. They're doing good. Getting big. I have a rooster right here because he's getting some. Uh, it's okay. He's getting some red around his, under his beak. And he's getting a little bit of a comb up there. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to get him used to hold, let me hold them though. Because they're going to have to do that. That's just the way it's going to have to be. Thought they were supposed to just lay eggs. And be my friend. <laughs> He's been very naughty. Tried to give him some freedom out there and let him run, and they ran over to the neighbor's house. And they've got two bulldogs. They had to run back this way. They didn't stay where they were supposed to, so we're going to have to build a pen. So I marked four foot here to try to give him four extra feet down to the third post. And uh, you and the missus decided that's probably a little too narrow, so we're probably going to go another foot out and go five foot. Put these posts up and then frame this in and put wire around it. Big enough to where we can put their pool back in here. So that's going to be the adventure for this weekend is to start getting that done, is to put the post in, frame it up. It shouldn't take that much, it's just a matter of some of the old posts over there that I still have. I got a couple of two by fours I may have to go buy. I don't know, three or four more two by fours. I think we still got plenty of chicken wire. We still got the chicken wire. We still have still have these. These are rabbit clips. They're awesome. Really hold the wire real close. We got them here too. They um, you pinch them in and they hold the metal and you can pull the metal and you can tighten it and it really does a good job. So we've got those, we've got plenty of those, we've got plenty of wire. So the next adventure is to tie it off here, give them five foot, put them in here. And then I'll try to build them something where they can get off the ground and then put the pool in here and that'll be their new home. And hopefully they'll be happy. Hi, how you doing? Four today's. This is what she does in the afternoon. It's about the only thing you can do outside that's not just torture. So, the pool has been a good investment. So this girl right here is the reason we have two ducks that we're having to expand our pen for because she got them for Easter a couple of years ago. <laughs> and uh, I guess she started off the whole homestead thing though. Last night we were looking out the back and saw a deer actually laying down in the backyard which is kind of unusual. Usually they're eating and grazing but not laying down. So he's getting the SIM card out of the camera to see what was really going on. It's kind of dark and we didn't really see anyway but it'll be interesting to see if we got any photos of it wanted to pull the card is um, like Sandra was saying we've got uh, we saw a doe out here that was laying down but we we've, we've got two pregnant does that's been around the property and we saw them on the camera and uh, I've been definitely trying to keep enough food out here there's plenty of grass and stuff like that but I just want to give them something extra to eat and um, so we're hoping maybe one of those that was laying down was was um, 
trying to give birth or something. So hopefully we have some good pictures. If we do, we'll we'll let you know. Watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Uh, what's your way to cool off? Mine is to cool, obviously. Um, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. And I think I got everything. I think you did.